Hi everyone, this is Barry Coombs from virtualizedreality.com. In this video we're going to do an instant recovery of a VM that has been replicated using the backup copy job. We're first of all rescanning our data store at our DR side to bring uh, all the backups online. We're next going to go and choose to do a recovery uh, of the VM using instant recovery inside uh, Beam Backup and Replication V7. We're choosing our backup job and our VM from inside our backup job and we're going to choose the date we wish to recover from. We're going to choose to recover and recover in a new location with different settings. We're going to choose uh, the virtual center at our DR site. And we're choosing our data center and our cluster with our host inside. just retrieving the details from that host. We're going to choose the name of the virtual machine. This is a test. I'm uh, just going to name it with uh, test restore at the end of it. And I'm going to choose my resource pool. Just going to flip through the rest of the wizard there. I'm going to choose to power on that VM at the end, but I'm not going to connect it to the network as this is just a test. I don't want to cause any issues. So we're just going to bring the vSphere client up on the screen there so we can see what's happening uh, inside our virtual infrastructure. The VM recovery is being started. We can see it's connecting to the host. It's now checking to see whether the NFS data store that's mounted from inside Veeam has been mounted against the ESX host already. There we go. So it's publishing the VM. And if we have a look inside uh, the virtual infrastructure window, we can see that the VM has appeared inside uh, our inventory list there. If we give it a few seconds just to complete, we should see that VM power on. There we go, so that VM is now powering on. We're going to switch over to the console for that VM now. Notice in the Veeam window as well that it's saying uh, it's waiting for the user to start the migration. The process inside Veeam is finished there. The VM is now seen to be booting up inside uh, the virtual infrastructure client. Within a few seconds, we'll have Windows uh, up, booted, ready for us to test, or in a real-life scenario, that should be recovered. Hope you've enjoyed the video.